Get up, get ready, because we have another at-home edition of World of Fortnite for you. I'm your host, Sarah Pookie Face Lynn, and we have a great show for you today. The rotation is back with hilarious glitches in Battle Royale, Point of Interest takes a look at Raz's mission in Season 6, and of course, we have everything the community is passing around in low ground. Fortnite recently announced its huge crossover with the NBA, including all 30 team jerseys, Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell locker bundles, and Fortnite meets NBA team battles. Now, a partnership with the NBA was hinted at in documents leaked from the Epic Apple lawsuit, which makes me think, are there other leaks coming out of the trial going to come true as well? Alright, it's time to gas up the battle bus, take a ride on the rotation, and see the funniest glitches in Battle Royale. <laughs> Open world maps require a lot of detail, and a game like Fortnite that also has complex building mechanics on top just makes programming it harder. Although the game has been a pretty smooth experience since launch, there have been some glitches that slip through. Some of these give players a bunch of incredible advantages, while others are simply fun to watch. Today, we'll be taking you through five of the most hilarious glitches in Fortnite Battle Royale. Number five on our list is the shopping cart glitch. The shopping cart was the first ever vehicle in Fortnite and naturally it came with a bunch of issues. For starters, there was a small chance that the cart would crash the game. If you used it with a passenger, there was a chance the cart would start flying if they started shooting. Moreover, there was a very high chance that the cart would mess up gravity around it, kind of like the zero point, but a lot worse. The cart would start floating high in the air with the person holding the cart spread out like Superman and unable to control it at all. At number four, we have the gliding character glitch. Also from the earliest days of Fortnite, this one was pretty weird. At random points during a game, you could see upside down characters floating around aimlessly on the map. It's hard to say if they were players who had been killed because you couldn't damage them. They seemed to move in a straight line in one direction, simply gliding on the terrain upside down or doing a handstand. While the glitch has been patched, there is still a delay between people leaving and their player model disappearing. Even in Chapter 2, if you play Team Rumble, you will find one of these demi characters standing at places where a player stood before leaving the match. Number 3 on our list is the Invisible Brute Glitch. This one's hilarious because the brutes were already so overpowered that a large portion of the community was done with the game and content creators were preparing to quit. In the midst of this chaos, someone figured out a way to make the brute invisible. You can imagine how horrifying it must have been to face those, considering they were nearly impossible to counter, even in their visible state. Epic took their time patching this one, but when they couldn't, they just disabled it, and the community was happy once again. At number 2, we have the giant character glitch. If you've played the game at any point before Chapter 1 Season 5, you've probably seen this glitch before. This was before Creative and Playground were released, so this is completely unrelated to the prop hunt exploits you can use to create giants. Nobody knows how exactly this happens, but some people on the map would turn into giants so tall they wouldn't even fit in your field of view. The affected person couldn't tell that it was happening to them, but everyone else could. It's hard to say if this was a disadvantage. While everyone on the map knew exactly where you were, no one knew exactly where to shoot because your hitbox remained unchanged. At number one, we have this swing set glitch. Back in 2018, when Greasy Grove was still on the map, Fortnite had physics for various items in the playgrounds. The swings were movable, and while you couldn't sit on them, you could still stand on them. If you jumped on a moving swing, you would get stuck between it and the swing support and quickly oscillate in your place because of the swing. Players accidentally discovered this glitch when they tried to climb it, but here's where it gets weird. A few seconds after using the swing, you would get permanently banned from Fortnite. Epic has always had fantastic anti-cheat mechanisms that have kept hackers away from the game. It was so sensitive that it would detect the rapid movement of the swing and equate it to players using fly hacks. Since it wasn't possible to move that fast in a period where vehicles didn't exist, the game would automatically ban you for cheating. Fortunately, this was patched soon enough and players affected were unbanned. Can you imagine getting banned just for trying to use a swing on a playground? Hello, 
and welcome to another edition of Playing With Pooks. This week, what I thought we would do is hop in and take a look at some of the various LTMs that are currently in the game. See what we get. I figured we would start with the PvE version of Impossible Escape. There's two. There's a PvP version and a PvE version, but let's keep it easy just for my sanity. Escape the island? Dawn, day one of three. Storm closing in 31 minutes. All right, so emote to squad up. All right, your squad is scattered. Reunite or form a new squad. So I just hopped in here as a solo. It did say in the tool tip that um, if I was with other people, that I would be separated from them. Basically, you were dropped on an island, um, and, oh gosh, good start. You had to forage the island. There was a PvE component. You had to ally up with people who could betray you or not to get a uh, relic to get off of the island via means of helicopter. All right, so there's a set of binoculars. Are those binoculars? It looks like they may be. They could also be temples. I don't know. It... Okay, whoops. Your map has been updated. Dangers emerge at dusk. That's not ideal. Well, we haven't died yet, so... Okay. I'm gonna go like this. We have a foolproof plan. Where's the closest helicopter? Found it! Are we about to escape? I think we're gonna be the first ones to escape! Oh, number three is already driving away, actually. Never mind. Okay. What? We need more than one part? So we need a thruster, a motor, a rotor cap, and a tail rotor? Why did I think that Epic would make it so easy? All right. Talk to the hunts. Oh, perfect. Talk to the hunt master to find chopper parts. Excellent. Oh my goodness. I almost was ambushed. Okay, so these guards don't have as much health as I thought they did. I thought they were going to be way more difficult. We're about to put the tail rotor on. Okay. Okay, chill out. Time. Now that we know how the game works, did I just run past? Where the heck is the helicopter? <laughs> ah! How can you see me in the fog? I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> Hop into one more game. We'll play one more. And here we go. Okay, so it already has a part there. Somebody put the thruster in already. I mean, the rotor cap's there. I just need the motor and the tail rotor now. Uh-oh. 
No! Leave it alone! We are so close right now. I can literally taste escape. Oh my, what are you? Uh oh. Are you joking right now? No way. No way you kill me. had the final part and everything <sighs> impossible escape is it actually impossible it seems like it it was fun playing it alone wouldn't recommend 100 if you're gonna hop into this ltm definitely play it with at least one friend maybe two or three if you know that many people uh, <laughs> but i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed this edition of playing with pooks I'm going to go lick my wounds and just rethink my entire existence. Uh, that ghost really just is now just living in my head rent free. Uh, so I'm going to go deal with that. But I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. in my lobby. Try to throw a party as soon as I kill this part, huh? It's weird, bro. Oh, this kid's weird, right? There you go. Go top. Oh my god, dude. You got a purple pump. Sixty to the God. head. Oh, man. 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 Oh, Nice, tiene paz dorada. Uno tiene paz dorada, tenés cuidado. Puedes rematar. Está ahí. Ah, no, revienta ahí. Puedes revienta. No creo que sea así. Justo. No. Lo mataste a venir, Nito, bueno. Lo mataste a los Pero no tengo nada, güey. No tengo nada de más. ¿Qué carajo, boludo? Amigo, se, ca se cayó pedazos el culo ahí, no entiendo. <risa> claro, pero a nosotros. <risa>
so stacked as well. I got a gold spaz too. I have a stink boat. Just keep moving in. Cars are coming from Risky. You go for a shot Here you go for the car. Go for the car. Hot Traps is always so amazing and honestly inspires me to rise up to be the best Fortnite player I can possibly be. Low ground, on the other hand, eh, not so much. First up, Regretted Soup shows us again why you shouldn't celebrate too early. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but that cockiness will get you every single time. Next up, Speedy Beck lives up to his name. If you come for the banana, you best not miss. I think the Fortnite gods are trying to tell Yes Sir I'm a Pie something in this one. I know that the debate around the loot pool can be very Polarizing. But maybe try fishing more? Next up, anyone can come up with a 200 IQ play, but Milkman shows they can perform a minus 300 IQ play. You're a genius until you're not. Finally, we got another karma check featuring Gleaming Glider. At the very least, they recognize their behavior is toxic and hopefully they learn from this, but let's be real, they probably won't. Moving on, Point of Interest unravels Raz's mission in Season 6. We're just two weeks away from Fortnite Season 7, and Season 6 has been packed with lore so far, with a unique preseason event that introduced us to a new member of the Seven, to multiple versions of Jonesy arriving on the island, a lot has happened in this season already. Today, we'll be taking you through the story of Raz, who seems to be the antagonist of the season alongside the Io. Raz is a legendary skin that is a part of the Battle Pass. We weren't expecting him to play such an important role in the story, considering you can obtain him within the first 50 tiers. It is important to note that Raz starts off as a human with magical powers and turns into a purple glyph version after completing a set of challenges that reveal more about the character's journey. These challenges are pretty tedious and end with a face-off against the NPC Raz himself, who has his own mythic explosive bow. Raz seems to have a strong connection with the cube energy. This is the purple evil energy that is the polar opposite of the light blue rift energy. These energies counter each other and just like Raz, there have been various skins in the past that have 
both had Rift and Cube versions, where the latter version was clearly portrayed as evil. When a character is converted from Rift to Cube, they are said to be corrupted. The Glyph version of Raz has runes on his body that glow purple and are very similar to the runes to Kevin the Cube. Even the scroll on his back has the same runes on it, leading us to believe that he is indeed an evil mage. Note that Fortnite Chapter 2's seasons have been mirroring their content from Chapter 1. For example, both Season 4's had superheroes, both Season 5's had interdimensional travel, and Chapter 2 Season 6 seems to finally bring back some cube-related plot points from Chapter 1. Raz was transported to our island from the Primal Ages, where he possessed magical powers. In Raz's questline, there is a point where you have to defeat the original Jonesy at Pleasant Park. On defeating him, he reveals that the Spire possesses great power and is a lodestone for certain people who seek its power. It is known to exploit people's weaknesses and turn them to the dark side. He also reveals that the Spire can corrupt people, seeking those powers, almost as if it's a trap. Unfortunately, it seems like Raz has already been corrupted by the Spire. There's a very good chance he is trying to corrupt the Zero Point as well, as he is always patrolling the area where it was sealed by the Foundation. At the end of the questline, you have to battle Raz at the Spire. At this point, he has already been corrupted. Other skins, such as Tirana and the Spire Assassin, have also been corrupted from the looks of their edit styles. Raz is extremely difficult to kill, as he is located right in the center of the map where a lot of people drop and all are trying to do the challenge as well. He also uses his magical powers against you. Once he activates them, simply being in his line of sight makes you lose a lot of health. After eliminating him, you have to collect an amulet he drops. This amulet is exactly like the cube shards we've previously seen in the game, confirming the theory that the cube's dark energy is still in play on the island. Raz clearly came to our island seeking the power of the zero point. The orb has similarly attracted characters such as the Ice King and the Pirates back in Chapter 1. Now that it is contained within the Spire, it has been weakened and is vulnerable to cube energy. The Spire was previously patrolled by the NPC Spire Assassin, whose armor is powered by the blue zero point energy. This NPC was later replaced by Glyph Raz in Update 16.30 when he defeated her and took over the Spire. Meanwhile, Agent Jones still hasn't reported back and it seems like he may be too late. The first Jones warned us about a possible corruption, as Agent Jones will not stand a chance if that happens. Unfortunately, it has already happened, and we can only wait to see how Jones can resolve this complicated situation. That's why I need point of interest, because it's always so easy to miss those tiny details that can tie the lore together. Whether it be a huge event at the end of the season or a small detail on a skin, everything is connected. That about does it for me, but for more of our content, check out our YouTube and Twitter channels at Squad State. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, here's your Victor Royale with cheese.